Hey everybody, I'm down here at the Taupo Lakefront, um, the day before the um, Ironman 70.3 Taupo race. And uh, as you can see, the water is beautiful, crystal clear, nice and calm. The air temperature is pretty warm at the moment, um, but one thing that you might find is that the water temperature is a little bit colder. So I swam here yesterday and it was apparently about 16 degrees, which, which it actually didn't feel that cold, but um, it probably is a little bit colder than some of you are comfortable with. So a few people have asked me what my thoughts are on um, dealing with the cold water, and this is what I do. So when you, when you walk into the water and you know it's feeling cold, I um, immediately try to get my face wet. So I'll get some water on my hands and I'll splash my face. And I find that as soon as my face is wet, everything else starts to settle down. If you have a dry face and you dive into the cold water, I find that's what takes your breath away and that's where often people get into a panic situation. So just take your time getting in, get your face wet, get your arms and legs wet. You can even open up your wetsuit and let a little bit, little bit of water flush into your suit, which might seem a little bit of a shock initially, but it actually helps your body um, regulate itself and get used to the cold. And then just quietly in your own time, just put your face into the water and just practice holding your face there and breathing out slowly. And that'll help you calm down a little bit as well. And then bring your face back out again and you'll actually find that you've, you've cooled your body temperature down a little bit and then you can start your swim, your warm up swim. So I find that really useful. It's a really good little technique um, and no one really needs to know what you're doing. It's just part of the warm up process. The other thing that people have, have talked about in the past is using earplugs. So um, earplugs are great because it stops the cold water going into your ears, which goes right into your head. So earplugs work really well. Um, double caps are an option, but I don't really like wearing two caps because I find it's too tight on my head and I find I get a little bit of a headache. But you can get a neoprene skull cap, which is a little bit looser, but it's a bit warmer as well. So there's some options there. The other thing that people talk about is using um, cycling arm warmers under their wetsuit. And this is something I don't recommend doing, um, basically because you need as much flexibility in the arms as you can get in your wetsuit for the swim. And if you put a, a second layer of material underneath your wetsuit, then it can actually um, restrict arm movement. So I think you will find, if you haven't swum without, with arm warmers under your suit before, that you're actually going to feel it quite uncomfortable and you probably won't swim as well as you would normally. So I would just go, wetsuit as normal, um, your body will get used to the cold conditions in its own time. And once you're into it, you, you really don't you don't you won't notice it much at all. So, a couple of little quick tips there. Um, hopefully, you get a chance to come down and swim today because it is really nice. But tomorrow morning, if that's if that's something that you're finding, work try those little tips for me. Anyway, good luck tomorrow. Thank you.